today we're going to talk about the coronavirus. <laughs> okay, so before I begin, I just want to give like a little disclaimer out there. I'm not trying to make fun of it in any way. I understand it's a very serious issue and this isn't supposed to make fun of it or mock it in any way. I'm just trying to like debunk the myths that are going around, um, fix some rumors. A lot of the news sources and professional agencies or whatever they're called have already commented on them and there are full articles about that. If you want to go read that, I will link it in the description box below. Every source and article or news interview thing that I use will be linked down below as well. So I'm not plagiarizing. Yay, school taught me well. And yeah, other than that, I just really think we need to not panic in this situation and we need to be aware of our surroundings and yeah, so if you have any problems, any concerns, if you want help in any way, please feel free to reach out to me. I have literally nothing to do because school got cancelled and now we're doing online school and I, I have nothing to do in my free time. So if you just want to talk about it, you have an actual concern that you want to address, then feel free to talk to me. I will link my email down below as well if you need a way to reach me, and then the comment section are always open. But other than that, yeah, let's get started in the myths. Okay, so Mercury News came out with an article by Harmeet Kaur of CNN. Very accurate. I'm kidding. I <laughs> I should not be commenting on news sources as a 13 year old. Anyways, moving on. La 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 la, infodemic. Infodemic, I have never heard of that. Apparently, okay, I'm on my school Chromebook here, but it says the World Health Organization is calling it an infodemic. What does that mean? Let's find out. CNN, this is from CNN by the way, so just saying. There's a whole nother article on infodemic. I am not about to read that. First myth, coronavirus is man-made. No, it is not. There have been so many conspiracies going around that um, China made it. The first one I heard was from, I think it was my friend. She was like, yeah, China made it to uh, kill off all their old people and solve overpopulation. And I'm like, huh? No, really? Then why is it, why, why, why do we have corona if they wanted to kill their old people? Why, why is it here? And the other one that I heard, I think this is from my mom actually, she was like, yeah, I heard that the coronavirus was originally from like America, like we created it and then we went over to China and then we gave it to the Chinese people. <laughs> because what's happening right now, I'm sure you, everyone knows this, but um, China is like really good in their economic, excuse my language, I'm 15, I don't know what I'm saying, but China's economic system is like really good because literally everything is made in China and so their ec economy was like way above ours and so the conspiracy is that we gave them the virus so that their economy crashes and if you look right now our stock market is like downhill so if you have not invested yet go invest because the prices have dropped I shouldn't be laughing it's not funny but they've dropped like buy it a lot a lot and if you have an investment i am so sorry because you lost a lot of money anyway so no it's not man-made because there's scientific reasoning behind it let me find it so they're saying that the exact source of the virus is likely that it's originated in bats and was transmitted to an intermediate host before jumping it i'm just reading off of the article by the way um and it's Transmitted to an intermediate host before jumping to people, just like its cousin that caused the 2003 SARS ep epidemic. Alrighty then. The best way to treat yourself is to do what you would do for an everyday cold and flu season. Okay, so wash your hands. Be hygienic. Um, yeah. Next myth. Black people don't get coronavirus. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. I was just, that was really funny. Um, obviously the amount of melanin in your body has nothing to do with contracting the disease, but let's see what CNN had to say about it. Yeah, <laughs> an actual African-American commented on it. She was like, black people can get it just like every other person. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, the next myth. Everyone should wear a mask. Now, this myth is actually, um, <laughs> We're gonna talk about this myth. My biology teacher, before the whole like 
coronavirus thing exploded, like actually became an issue that people are talking about. Um, he was saying how a bunch of people buy masks on like TikTok and Facebook and YouTube or whatever. And he was like, y'all do realize this like disease is droplet droplet based. So us wearing a mask, like if you don't have the disease and you wear a mask, then that's just going to prevent you from giving it to someone else, if that makes sense because all that's doing is blocking like when you talk it's just gonna stop your spit from getting anywhere but there's i don't know if you've actually seen a mask before but basically um it just covers like this part of your face and then it hooks onto your ears behind you and there's so much space between that area where anyone anything can get in any like disease any bacteria and then um he was talking to us about how surgeons actually wear them and the only reason they wear them is to protect the patient so that when the surgeon's like talking it's their spit isn't going into an open heart surgery thing and so he was saying how healthy people wearing the mask isn't actually going to do anything and all we're doing right now is buying up all the masks so that people who do need them don't have them and that's like not good so i mean buy a mask if you want don't take my word for it do your research but that's just my two cents on the opinion on the topic that's just that's just my two cents and oh the other thing that is getting me so angry right now it's um the whole hand sanitizer thing where everyone is buying up hand sanitizer and it's the it's just it's crazy there's no more hand sanitizer no more rubbing alcohol even aloe vera is sold out everywhere and i don't understand why i don't need it i'm not mad because i can't buy it i'm just mad because i don't understand why everyone else is buying you know what i'm saying like it's like a trend that you're not a part of so you're just gonna sit on the side and hate on the trend because you can't be a part of it because <laughs> the purpose of a hand sanitizer like it's to kill bacteria and washing your hands is the same thing as using hand sanitizer. So why not just wash your hands? I'm pretty sure hand sanitizer is for those people that travel and like you can't have what you can't wash your hands or like you don't have access to a sink or soap or something. Then use a hand sanitizer because you can't wash your hands. So why buy a hand sanitizer if you can wash your hands? I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. If you have a different opinion, please comment down below and I will understand the hype of hand sanitizers. Um, oh, the other thing, toilet paper. Why? Why are we, what? Baby wipes, toilet paper. I'm sitting here like, why though? <laughs> I genuinely don't understand. Corona has nothing to do with toilet paper or baby wipes. I don't understand why we're buying them up okay whatever i'm just gonna drop it because i genuinely do not understand the hype of them because i get some people are um this is what a family told me they were like oh yeah we're stocking up just in case our city goes into lockdown and i don't know if you know but i believe it's san francisco that went into lockdown just a few days ago or maybe even yesterday and then um there's a city that has a curfew i don't remember what city though but basically like you're not allowed to roam the area around at night or something and so it makes sense to like buy stuff and save up for the amount of time that you're in lockdown but for everyone else that's just buying it because everyone else is buying it because we're panicking calm down i promise you it's gonna get better they will make a vaccine for it and it's it's gonna be all good you're gonna be like wow i panicked for nothing and i'm gonna sit here and be like told you so but you know that's a story for another time all right the next myth heat can kill the virus so my mom was actually talking about this my mom's a doctor by the way so if i keep talking about her that's why because she's yeah so is my dad but yeah all right the myth is heat can kill the virus and my mom was saying how um she thinks the virus is gonna like um the amount of cases is gonna drop because when you go into like may or june and july then it's not typically flu season anymore and so the bacteria can't survive in the heat and according to them hand dryers can't kill the virus i no one said anything about a hand dryer the organization also says this is the world health organization by the way they also say that uv lamps shouldn't be used to sterilize hands or other areas of the body because oh so they're okay so they're talking about like actual uv lamps i'm talking about um like just normal sunlight good old sunlight i don't know I don't know, I never thought that UV lights would. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't think about that. 
Alrighty then, the next myth. The virus can be transmitted through mail. <laughs> That's actually like really funny because so many um, knockoff corporations are from China. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Um, I don't know if I should name names. Okay, we're not gonna name names, but um, a lot of them, <laughs> my own family uses. And so, um, yeah, no, you're perfectly fine. The virus actually can't stay on surfaces for more than, um, well, it depends on the surface. There was a study done, there was an article. I'll link the article down below, but basically they tested the virus on different surfaces and then cardboard, I think it was two to three hours, stainless steel, it was two to three days, and then airborne, I think it's still air, it lasts three hours, and then like free flowing air. It's like they had, um, a full-on like lab study then it was really interesting i read the article i'll link it down below you should read it it's really fascinating all right next myth kids can't get the coronavirus aha not true just look up social media and type in coronavirus so many kids will be talking about it anyone of the age can get the new coronavirus though older people i'm reading off the article again though older people and those with pre-existing medical conditions appear to be more vulnerable appear to be more appear to be more appear to be more vulnerable to serious infections while most confirmed cases of those viruses have occurred in adult in adults try mm, stop reading i can't read all right then oh i should probably respond to that yes kids can get the coronavirus um it just doesn't mean that they'll die from it and it's literally the flu so i don't yeah anyone can get it Myth, people who get the coronavirus will die. That is not true. There are so many corona survivors. Alrighty then. Another thing I want to talk about. Um, that's all I have on my list of, from CNN at least, of corona-related stuff. But another thing I want to talk about is the fact that they shut down school for the coronavirus. That was great. That was lovely. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but as um, a student, I don't really appreciate that and this is me being petty right now so don't think this is me like being smart. this is dumb anyways i probably should not use my real name we're gonna bleep that out anyways and as i was saying i don't like the fact that they close school down because it's gonna limit the amount of cases over a set period of time and what that basically means is rather than having 2,000 people get infected in the span of one week we're gonna have 2,000 people infected in the span of what a month and our healthcare system can take that because there are only so many hospital beds and so many people on earth that if everyone were to get corona at once, our healthcare system system is going to be like, ah, and it's already, ah, so that's lovely, we stand. And the next thing, what else should we talk about corona related? Um, oh yeah, the whole like joke thing of um, just jokes in general about the coronavirus. We need to take into like as a teenager i'm telling other teenagers to stop joking around about it and i understand some people use humor as a way to cope with stress or like anxiety and i don't know i just feel like we shouldn't be joking about this because it's a reality now and it's extremely serious okay, so there's one more thing i actually want to talk about and this is the fact that they shut down schools because of the coronavirus and I understand why they did it um obviously as a student um i'm pretty mad about it because i love school i love my friends i know i'm like the in the top five percent of teenagers that enjoy school but it's it's nice i love the people that i'm around i'm genuinely thankful for everyone in my life um but yeah as i was saying school um they This is my baby brother. Say hi. 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 <laughs> what do you want to tell them? I'm so sorry. Cheech. Cheech. No, don't do that. We were told to practice social distancing and just stay away from people. And um, as an antisocial person, I do that anyway. So this corona thing, not really anything new. Um, but yeah, um, I just wish we had school. I understand. I t they do think a lot of people are going to get infected and purely because it's so easy to get infected. 
Um, like I said before, it's droplet based. So any spit that comes out of your mouth, you cough, you sneeze, you talk. Um, you could, it's very easy to get it. And yeah, so I understand why they did it. And please don't be mad at your teachers. This was not their decision. Don't be mad at your school. This was not their decision either. They're just following the law, I guess. They're just following what their officials told them. So don't get mad at your teachers. They're really trying their hardest. I know, especially at my school, they're working extremely hard. Um, they launched an online learning platform just this, I think, Monday. And we've been doing online classes ever since. And it's not the same, but it's definitely better than nothing. And I'm extremely thankful for everything that I have and the ability to even still talk to my friends. Like, that's that's amazing for me. Um, what else should we talk about? Oh, it reminds me. My <laughs> Okay, so we were in math class. This is a little story time, but we were in math class. And this, um, this was when we were told that we might actually have to not come to school anymore and we might get quarantined in our own houses. And originally what we were told is that um, basically what would happen is if one confirmed case of a student at our school were to happen, like someone tested gram positive for the virus, then everything would be shut down. We wouldn't be allowed to come back to school and then everything would get disinfected. This was before Donald Trump announced that um, our country was in a state of emergency. So this was, I think, Wednesday or Thursday of last week. And um, the teacher was like, if you have any questions, then please just ask me and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. So someone, like some smart kid, I forgot who it was, but the smart Alec decided to ask, what's the chance of me getting the virus? And then does the Corona beer have anything to do with it? And we just turn and look at him. We're like, bruh, are you kidding me right now? And the teacher is just like, the chance of you bringing an actual Corona beer to my class is higher than you dying from the virus. And ever since I literally wrote that down on my little worksheet that I was working on, and I still have it in my mind because it was the funniest thing she could have said and everyone was busting out laughing. <sighs> I miss my teachers. I miss school. I miss my classmates. If you're watching this and you know me or like I'm your classmate. Hi, um, I love you and I miss you. I can't wait to go back hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about. If there's anything else you want me to address on the coronavirus, obviously I'm not an official or someone that's smart, but I can talk about it and maybe get other people's opinions on it for you. So if there is something you want to talk about, if you are in need of help or if you just want someone to talk to you, I understand this is a very stressful time for a lot of people and just remember to stay calm. But if you want to talk to someone, even if it's not Corona related, if you have any personal thing going on, I'm 100% available. Please talk to me. I have nothing else to do. I'm completely worry free, thank God. And I want to help other people. And so I hope I did that. I hope I talked about some concerns you may or may not have. I hopefully, you know, fixed some questions you've had. And again, seriously, like this is not a joke anymore. Um, this COVID-19 is a very serious topic. And if you or someone you know needs help, I probably can't help you directly, but indirectly, whether that be through funds, through services, through listening, through awareness, just please let me know how I can help. And yeah, that's, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Madam President 2040.